Hello everyone, welcome back. I have this stack of basically used reclaim construction grade lumber that was given to me by somebody who's just trying to clean out an area. A lot of these boards are too short to build anything big with and some of them's in pretty rough shape as they are, um, but I can certainly clean them up. And what I have here are 12 two by fours, four two by sixes, those are all spruce, and then one two by 10 that is Southern yellow pine. Um, they vary in length. Again, it was basically scrap lumber that was taken from somewhere so they have you know dirt on them they have some pieces of concrete on them they have some nail holes in them they're not good to use for anything crazy nice however i think i can turn it into something nice so what i'm going to plan on doing is making a butcher block style top um, and i don't mean true butcher block where the end grain is going to be up but basically a long grain butcher block style top of a round table and then for the legs i'm i'm crazily thinking about making a ingrain style leg. So instead of the two by fours running up and down, they'll be stacked together like this so the ingrain is shown on the sides. That's in my mind at least, we'll see how hard it gets. But let's try to make some sort of crazy table. Okay, so in order to make this in the style that I'm thinking, I need to glue up a whole bunch of boards together. I need to mill them up so that they will glue up cleanly and correctly and get a good glue bond. Um, so to do that, I'm gonna start at the miter saw. I'm gonna use my stop block here, set it to 24 inches, and I'm gonna cut down a whole bunch of two by fours that are two feet long, just for rough dimensions. And then I'll head over to the joiner and begin milling the faces of those to clean these up and square up the edges. <laughs> Okay, everything is now milled up so it's flat just on both sides. I don't need the tops to be square or flat right now because I'm gluing these together this way. So I don't really care about the tops. I will flatten all those after the glue up is done. Um, I'm gonna use my large parallel clamps and I'm gonna glue 16 of these, oh, these together um, like that in a row to make one big butcher block style glue up. We will then mill that down and then cut out our top, our tabletop out of that. So let's get to gluing. Okay, the wood has dried and I've taken it out of clamps. However, this obviously is not gonna make a tabletop as it is. These two by fours aren't perfectly aligned. There's rounded edges, there's glue squeeze out. It's a little uneven. I need to flatten this. And what I'm gonna do is use a slab flattening bit on my CNC to flatten one side. Once that gets flat, that will become the reference point to flip over and flatten the other side. So let's get this secured, set up, and flattened on the CNC. Okay. 
Okay, I now have this slab flattened on both sides and I have located the center and installed my little pivot point here just with a screw straight into the piece. And I have my circle cutting jig um, for my router. And by the way, I will leave a link to this and all my other tools that I've used on this project down in the video description. But um, I have my circle cutting jig here with my router and I'm just gonna plunge in and, and cut out the circle that will become the tabletop. Okay, so I ended up using the router on a circle jig to cut out the tabletop. Now I'm gonna use some of these two by sixes. I'm gonna flatten, plane, and edge joint them, glue up panels that will become the base to this table. So let's work on the table base now. Okay, so the glue up is dry and I've removed it from the clamps. Obviously, I planed down each individual piece before I glued it together. So it's relatively planed down and thickness, but I do need to get each piece even to each other. And while it is very close, there's some glue squeeze out and it's not perfect. The ideal option is to run this through a planer. However, this is about 20 some inches wide, so it will not fit through my planer. But what it will fit through is my drum sander. My drum sander is only 16 inches wide, but it's open-ended. So I'm gonna run half of this through, turn it around, run the other half through, flip it, do the other side. So let's get this through the drum sander and evened up on both sides, slicked down basically. And then I'm gonna make my marks where this piece and the other piece will marry together on a bridle joint. Um, and that will become the base of the table.
Okay, so I know that the bridle joint is good and that the pieces fit together. So what I need to do now is pop this back apart and truly sand both sides. The drum sander did a little bit of leveling and smoothing out, but not as good as I'd like. This whole project is gonna be sanded down so that finish can be applied anyway. So I'm gonna take these apart and sand each face of each piece um, running my way through the grits. It should go fairly quickly because this is just spruce, it's really soft wood. I'm gonna do that. I might add a little bit of a round over on these sharp edges and the bottom or a chamfer maybe. I'll do that with the router and then I'll get these pieces glued back together just applying glue inside of these joints. And then we'll figure out how to attach the top to the base and we'll be done. I have everything sanded and everything glued up and I temporarily just have the tabletop sitting on top of the base. I've been trying to kind of decide how I'm gonna attach the top to the base. I thought about doing some dowels um, and then gluing it, but I think I'm overthinking it. I'm just gonna use some L brackets, um, some tabletop mounting L brackets and just screw a couple of those underneath here and screw them into the top. It doesn't have to be super strong. I mean, again, the weight is just gonna, this tabletop is heavy enough to hold it down. So it's really just to hold it in place from sliding side to side. So. Let's get these brackets installed and we'll get ready to put some finish on this thing and this project will be complete. Okay, so the finish is now dry and this project is complete. Some other suggestions that I would have for finishing options is you could stain this, you could paint this, you could do another coat or a couple more coats of a different type of varnish just to give it that kind of varnish look where it's a little bit more uh, golden or worn. Um, I mean, obviously the possibilities for finishing this are endless. Again, I could have gotten a lot fancier with my joinery and the way I attach things and I could have put a lot more effort into this if I wanted to. However, as I started at the beginning of this video, this is all reclaimed free wood basically and I think this simple project turned out fairly nice. So if you enjoyed this project, be sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future videos. If you enjoyed this video, I think you will enjoy this one as well, so be sure to check it out next.